Welcome everybody, this is Ivan Dragon Caesar from the Pivotal team here to announce Green Plum 4380 is now released. It's the best release of Green Plum ever made. I really am pumped up and excited to get it out to the world to get everybody to download it and start using it. We've got two slides to show you about it. Caesar, can you kick to the next slide? Okay. Um, primarily, the feature that we want to highlight here is the support for S3 external tables. This allows you to query data natively stored in S3 as if it was in the database, but without loading it. Um, in addition to that, we've, we've... What kind of format would you actually put that data you in? You put it in uh, comma separated or separated values, just like you would a uh, flat file external table. So I can download my Excel spreadsheet put it into S3 and now I can query it. You can query it. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty awesome. So we don't have the writable tables right now. In the beginning, this is just the readable version, but we're going to be doing supporting zip files pretty soon. And well, we're why would I want an external, um, why would I download an external table from Greenplum into S3? It sounds like the slowest backward. It's actually not that slow. We, we have done extensive engineering work to make external table from S3 work really fast. For those people who want to query data outside of Greenplum. Yeah, and it's for, you could use it for your staging. So let's say you're doing a bunch of ETL with EMR or some other um, processing in, in the cloud, and then you want to put the results of that data into somewhere and then be able to import it into the database. So you drop mm -hmm. it in S3 and then start processing it. And you don't have to load the whole data. You just start querying it as if it was there. That's cool. Wow. Yeah, you can you can as well do an insert from select and load the data that way, or just query it and never load it. Um, uh, the, the other major items, you know, this is a service pack release, so there's a number of bug fixes and stability improvements, especially around um, backup restore. We now support better handling for special characters, all those weird and funky characters that developers never really originally thought people would put in their table names, like new line characters in the table name, etc. Um, the optimizer, GP Orca, is coming with a number of enhancements. It now supports plans that can do bitmap indexes um, and, and a series of other uh, fixes and improvements to the optimizer. And then I would like to also point out in the docs two special new documentation items, which are an update to the vmem protect limit formula. And it's really important that everybody make sure that their clusters are set up with the right vmem protect. This will make sure that the database knows how much memory is available to, for it to use and not to over allocate more than the system actually has. And we've updated those formulas based on extensive testing. And then as well, just as a call out, you should know there is some warnings in the new release notes about Red Hat 7. Some, you know, Red Hat 7 is the latest version of Red Hat and there have been some confirmed bugs from Red Hat um, which do impact users. So we wanna make sure if you have already started using Red Hat 7 and migrated over there that you have a look at that. So all in all, though, this is the best Green Plum release ever, the most stable. This doesn't include all the items in it, all the fixes, but really encourage everybody to get it on their system and start using it. So I have to ask you, bitmap indices, in, uh, indices tell us more a little bit about that. So bitmap indices are something Green Plum has supported all along, but something that Orca has not been able to take mm -hmm. advantage of until now. And um, so with this release now, you know, over time, we're just going to keep adding to Orca so that it becomes the complete optimizer solution for GPDB. And this is just one more piece of that continued effort. And you're going to see an acceleration and a lot more Orca improvements coming down the road, coming down the road. Yeah, uh, Orca improvements and utilization in Green Plum. Yeah. So that's the summary. And uh, Greg, any more questions? Where do I get it? Where do you get it? Go, um, you can, as you've highlighted here, you can get it from the sandbox on Green Plum Org, or you can go to network.pivotal.io and download it from there. Awesome. Until next time, it's the first session of Green Plum Chat. Yeah.